Isn't it a shame, Mike? Yeah, 2017 Chevy Cruze, the first car he'd ever financed like that, the nicest one he's ever had. He was proud of it, worked hard for it, but now the remnants of a disaster date with a cicada are all that's left over here on Riverside Drive. They're buzzing. They're flying into our windshields. In Vincent Bingham's case, these pesky cicadas are capable of a slap in the face that stings, sending him driving into a pole on Riverside Drive Monday. When it came through the window, it hit me right here, like pretty much in the cheek on my face. He totaled his 2017 Chevy Cruze heading home from work. Vincent says the air conditioning was broken and the windows down. His shock on Cincinnati police body cam. Justin, it was a cicada flew in and smacked me right in the face. Even witnesses were stunned. Anything weird before then, swerving, anything? No, he wasn't speeding or anything. It's just like all of a sudden yeah. went to the right. He says the culprit stayed in the back seat. Now, seeing cicadas and hearing their never-ending noise almost feels like being mocked. Uh, did a, a lot of hard work to try and uh, get the car and keep the car and, you know, pay for it. And, uh, yeah, it just sucks to see it all kind of go away. Vincent says the lesson is to drive with the windows up. It seems it's the cicadas party and all of us, we're just crashing it. A lot of stress and troubles and, you know, just wanted to go back in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> now, a Cincinnati police officer had told us earlier this week they'd responded to at least four crashes involving cicadas. The public information office was working to try to confirm that for us. But for now, I think we'll just continue to follow Vincent's advice, keeping those windows up. Reporting live, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.